Hi, I'm Captain Annie Divya, Commander on Boeing 777, and I fly for my living. Here I thank my parents for where I'm standing today. I dared to dream. I dreamt of unknown, something I did not even see. I flew to unknown space, and it expanded my wings. I had few downdrafts, actually many, but it enabled me fly higher. I was in a place where there was no information on aviation, nor any aircraft flying around. Girls were not encouraged to pursue unknown fields. With my limited resources, I had very little exposure, and the internet was not very accessible those days. So all I had was my dream, and my chase for it, and searching for it, and people laughing at it when I mention. In the meanwhile. One of my teacher was been observing me for a while. Asked me, Divya, you want to be where you want to be, or you want to go like a pollen grain and get placed wherever it places it. I'm like, I want to be where I want to be, but I don't know how. He said, It's not important to know how. It is more important to know where you want to be. He then gave me a homework to make a list of ten things I wanted to do. And I asked him, "Can I do ten things?" He said, "Yes." On top of the list was to be a pilot, and most of the ten things are done today. <laughs> Unconsciously, we all have fear of being judged. We have to make a conscious effort of not letting that fear affect our judgment. For example, if we did not do well in a particular exam, we may be more worried about what people are going to think about it rather than how it's actually going to affect us. If we can ignore that, maybe it's a matter of only giving a re-exam and doing better. <laughs> I know, easier said than done. Maybe living invisible helps. <laughs> maybe with mystery in your watch. <laughs> we need to remember: for people, we are only a thought. We cannot make it our state of mind. Overcoming fear of being judged helped me many times. It helped me dare to dream. So I went ahead, even when people were laughing and being sarcastic. I kept asking people how to become a pilot. I heard various things, but I got one right lead, and I joined Flying Academy at the age of 17. That was the first time I saw an aircraft and a pilot up so close. I entered the airplane for the first time to learn how to fly. One among various things I've heard was to get 90 percent and above to get into flying. So I did very well in my 12th, but it's not true. Only 50 percent is required. <laughs> I would have known then I wouldn't have worked so hard. But good percentage gave me good confidence to start with. Till I started facing various challenges like language barriers, cultural differences, lack of exposure, and the pressure of financial burden I had placed on my parents. I had also stepped out of my comfort zone for the first time to live in a new, strange place. I was very young, very timid, away from the parents for the first time, would cry at a drop of a hat. I was made fun of the most of the things I did, and sometimes things I did not even do. I could not make many friends with the challenges I was facing. I was just trying to fit in. I told my mother about it. She told me. You can come back home any time you want. Your home doors are always open for you. Do not worry about the fees we paid. But remember, wherever you go in life, you will have some obstacles and some challenges to face. So that gave me a lot of comfort and confidence. I decided if I have to face some obstacles and challenges, I might as well face those for right, like right now, right here, for achieving my dream. So I went ahead with more confidence and kept learning. One day, a girl asked me. Do you know the meaning of word dating? I knew I would be made fun for the wrong answer, but I did not walk away. Not knowing what it meant, I guessed and said, "Maybe marking dates on the calendar." <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, she laughed, and I was made fun of. But I learned what it meant. It's okay not to know. It's not okay not to learn, and it expanded my wings. With my expanded wings, I joined the airline. What I went is with my better language skills. I went to Spain, Palma de Mallorca, for my Boeing 737 training. There, I realized not many people speak English, <laughs> and I have to work on my language again. In the beginning of my career, 
I worked with different nationalities, which means different cultures again, but it wasn't a challenge anymore. Apart from a job requirement, language is for communication and rest is about skill and hard work. So as the life continued, I chose to be in Mumbai, away from my parents, for living my bigger dream of flying larger jets on international routes across the continents. At 19, in a fast city, all by myself, living my dream, had good days and bad days at work. Good days were good, bad days were tough. We all face various challenges in life. Sadly, some just being a woman. I heard some rumors about myself as a girl doing well in a male-dominated field. I was too young to not let it affect me. I confined myself to my room. I isolated myself. I stopped socializing at all in the effort of stopping those stories. I could not share those with my parents in not to worry them. And it continued, continued for long. For two years, all I did is sit in my room alone, just fly planes and come back. Till I said to myself, opinions will be formed anyways, depending on their maturity and intelligence. Let me brood the injustice of all of it when I have nothing else to do. I left the opinion makers to their hobby. I drew myself in what I knew best, learn. And yes, I stepped out of my room, I started making friends, and I hung out with people I liked. <laughs> And I have bigger dreams to achieve, family responsibilities to take care of. Age is precious. This time will never come back. And I need to live and live it to the fullest. And I did. I'm responsible for all my actions, all my decisions. I take responsibility of what I do and more importantly, how I feel. There are only lessons. There are no regrets. Not being happy is not OK. So as the happy life continued, with new lessons and more confidence, I had few more hurdles, few more challenges, even just before achieving my bigger dream. In spite of all the hard work I have put in, I had situations which were very difficult, challenges which were, again, very tough, obstacles which were not expected, a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, but I have risen above all of them and it only made me realize my strength. So downdrafts help me rise higher. Dare to dream. Believe in yourself, a world to believe in you.